Hey, what's going on, YouTube? All right, so I got some more mail. Yeah, I've been ordering like a maniac. Anytime silver drops or I'm away out of the hobby for like a week, um, I went to Hawaii a couple weeks ago, um, I kind of get like, I don't know, I sell a bunch of stuff and then I get the itch and then I buy a bunch of stuff. So anyways, these are uh, some items that I ordered uh, last week, Friday, uh, September 9th. And today is the, uh, well, it's almost the 15th, but it's uh, September 14th. So these came pretty quick. And... Um, let me get a knife and open these up. All right, so you guys have all um, hopefully been taking advantage of the drop in silver. I think it was like seventeen fifty not too long ago. Today it's uh, almost back up to twenty bucks. So I don't know. It's kind of a crazy market, but. Um, Hopefully you guys are able to score some stuff uh, when things were lower. I have noticed there are some better deals on eBay as of late. Not so much on the big bullion websites. Uh, they kind of come and go, but um, I've been kind of tracking some of my favorite bullion sites. But anyways, I, I think eBay is probably the best route to go if you find someone that is just dumping a collection. Um, I'm going to not put it in this video, but I got a... a like Kennedy, 1964 Kennedy's a uh, roll of, you know, 20 coin roll uh, for 185. And then that seller decided to list some more. He put Benji's and Kennedy's. I was only gonna, able to get one more Kennedy round because by the time he put it up in five minutes, they were sold out. And he put those up for 190 with free shipping. So, and they were all BU. So I ended up listing those, but I'll, I'll make a separate video for that. So anyways, um, this is some of the stuff I ordered September 9th. So like I said, hopefully you guys have been uh, taking advantage while you can looking for deals I know not everyone is in a position to to buy but those that are buying hopefully you're having fun doing it and I know it sucks too like if you have already bought a bunch of stuff and you just buy to collect you don't really buy to resell it could get pretty depressing when your investments are worth lower um, same thing with stocks and everything but at least with this stuff you can hold it in your hand all right so this particular seller had an interesting lot. Um, they had listed from 2000 to 2005. So let me start with 2000. And it was not an auction. It was just a simple listing. And they didn't have a lot of sales. But I was like, all right, this guy's got eagles. He's got them encapsulated in the correct capsule. So he obviously bought this from a local dealer. Um, not sure if he bought them once a year. But uh, these look really nice, and they were only $27.50 per American Eagle. Now, he obviously sold it all in one lot. He did a very nice job. You can kind of tell when someone's like a newer seller because they're buying like this duck stuff. So the, these type of supplies, you can only buy at a retail shelf like at Walmart, Home Depot, or probably even the post office. I don't know. Some of the post office sell stuff. But he did a nice job. He bought two nice sealed packages all the coins are individually uh capsulated these capsules aren't cheap guys they're over a buck now if you go to look for them i don't like storing my uh coins in capsules so i think it like does toning and whatnot i prefer to put them in mylar but a lot of guys like and, and gals like to store them in capsules because they store them differently like they'll store them in tubes but these are all very nice gem BU um, American Silver Eagles. So these are not call. I mean, go to your local coin shop and say, hey, man, you got any American Silver Eagles for $27.50? And they'll be like, no, but I'll buy some from you for $27.50. Um, maybe $28, $29. So it's very nice to be able to get a deal where you're getting uh, basically a price of what a dealer would pay someone over the counter. Now, not everyone pays that much for them, but there is a nice premium on Eagle. So th that's that. That's very nice. Um, and I'm going to list all these. These are all gem BU, so I'm going to list them all at $39. Bucks. Um, I don't include the capsules. Um, what I like to do is um, I get all my capsules together, and I'll either sell them as a lot or just give them to my local coin shop because, again, I don't, I don't like storing stuff in capsules. It, makes, it takes up too much space. Um, <clears throat> all right, so here's the next item. Try and open this so I don't show the 
see. Um, all right, so what do we got here? So we got an 1882 uh, Morgan Silver Dollar. Very, very nice, very reflective. Um, I got this, a, a really good deal on this coin. I paid uh, $30 plus $4 shipping and handling. And uh, let me pause it one sec so I can take it out and put a glove on. Actually, I'll stay gloveless and I just put it in this. Uh, if you're wondering what this holder is, it's actually out of an ICG um, slab. So if you're looking for a perfect holder for a Morgan Silver Dollar, uh, go buy a Biter ICG slabbed Morgan for like 20 bucks and then bust it out, sell, uh, sell the silver, keep the silver in your stack, and then you can use these uh, little holder things. Um, believe it or not, it's like, go ahead and try and find like actual holders for coins. There's really not much out there besides like your hands. I know it's kind of like a Captain Obvious, like, dude, just use your hands. But when you're taking photos of coins, when you have gloves on, like your fingers kind of like cover up the coin. It's hard to hold it and tends to fall. But anyways, this is a beautiful 1882 Morgan silver dollar. I mean, what do you guys think? Would you guys pay $34 for this coin? Again, $30 for the coin itself, $4 shipping and handling. Uh, there's definitely some cleaning that has occurred to this coin. I can tell uh, by the uh, hairlines on Liberty's face. But, um, I mean, the mirrors are, they're, they're really, really, like it's deep mirror proof like all day long. So I didn't buy this coin to um, send in to get grading because if I did, it would just come back unk details. Um, I bought it because I thought the coin was beautiful. And the seller does have a pretty good selection of Morgans, pretty good selection of kind of everything. He's kind of like a, a coin. You can, it's like a coin shop, obviously. So they must have picked this up in like junk silver or something because I don't know why they would sell this only for 30 bucks. But again, I know you guys are so oh, it's clean and this and that. But try and find an 1882 Philadelphia Mint, not a San Francisco Mint, but try and find a Philadelphia Mint that seriously, guys, has mirrors like this. I mean, this is this is really, really, really far. Like here, I'll put the the text here from the coin. I know it's upside down, but that's that's ridiculous on both sides too. And I don't think there are a lot of deep mirror proof like. 1882 Philadelphia's at least I haven't really come across many so just a cool coin to have I'm gonna list this prob pretty high I mean don't get crazy on me but I'm gonna probably list this for um, 145 bucks um, and see if I get any bites if not I'll keep lowering the price until it sells but there currently is nothing like this uh, available for sale on eBay and um, I'm definitely going to take some nice photos and list it. I'm also listing the Eagles too. Each Eagle that I showed in this video will be $39 uh, plus shipping and handling. Again, I know I only picked it up for $27.50, but they're all BU perfect. So um, that is the going rate for those. Uh, next up is a very, very nice uh, 1889. And it is a key date. It's a San Francisco Mint, 1889. Um, very, very happy with this pickup. Um, I did come up on this coin. I usually don't when I'm out there shopping for coins. I try to stay like in lower prices, but I've had some pretty good success with some of the key date coins. I've noticed some sellers just want, you know, either they get them in collections or they just want to get rid of it. So um, let me take... And let me put this in that Morgan holder one second. Okay, so what I really liked about this coin uh, was the fact, well, first of all, uh, what did I pay? So again, I, I'm very transparent, guys. I, I don't I don't hide anything, you know, and I, if I'm going to make profit on a coin, yay for me. You know, it just lets me buy more and share more of the hobby. But when I'm reselling this stuff, I'm, I'm really listing it um, at a fair market price. And this particular coin is 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 beautiful for for what it is right it's a key date so um very nice cameo liberty um i don't believe this has been cleaned it does have some chatter in the fields but they are definitely mirrors so it's and look how far away that is so let's let's do this again 
So I think it's deep mirror proof like for sure on the obverse. Um, really nice coin, no dings, no no dents on the on the rim or on the edges. And then on the reverse, it's a little blurry, so it's probably more proof like on the re reverse versus the obverse um, super mirror. So very happy with this pickup again like most people don't really even collect key dates but i've had good success so i've picked up some 1884 s's when i say s it's san francisco um i've picked up some 1885 san francisco and i kind of just you know wait for them I, I pay up for them but then i seem to sell them pretty well so this is a beautiful beautiful coin so guys just so you know like if this was in a slab Mint State 64, deep mirror proof like, uh, you know, from PCGS or NGC, it'd be a, a four figure coin. So it'd be easily a thousand gray sheet or 1200 bucks, 1300 bucks retail. So I'm going to take some nice photos, uh, list this, and I'll probably list this for, I don't know, just a tad under 300 bucks. And you might be saying, like, dude, are you nuts? But I'm not nuts because. The comps on this coin um, without mirrors uh, sells all day long for you know 250 to 250 to 450, and there's not a lot of actually there's no mirror looking coins until you get into like the 550 dollar price point. So I don't like to go really really high on price points. A it makes me nervous um, shipping a coin that's super high priced. Like I used to sell one ounce gold. And I would just like stare at the tracking. It would just make me nervous. And it's like, wow, I'm making like, you know, $50 profit and I'm freaking out over like a $2,000 gold piece I'm sending out. So I, I stopped doing that a couple of years back. So, um, but anyways, I, if you guys are into it and you know, it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know. The estimate mark seems like a little to the right. These coins are always kind of a little crooked, but again, just a beautiful example. Um, you know, what to look for. Again, I'm not using gloves here, but 1882 is common date, right? Philadelphia, maybe not so common, but definitely not common with mirrors. And then an 1880s San Francisco mint is a key date. Like they, there's just not a ton of these out there. So uh, I'm going to have more videos coming. I think I got more stuff coming by Friday or Saturday. So I'll make another one this weekend. Um, with some of the other stuff that I ordered, but I ordered a bunch of stuff and it's just because the stuff's selling. So I do appreciate, um, the buyers that are out there. I don't know if they're coming from YouTube or, you know, I have a lot of repeat buyers on eBay, but guys, I do appreciate it. I, I enjoy the hobby. I like sharing it with others and you just have to be nice to people, period. You know, don't be an a-hole and, uh, things will work out in life. But um, I do appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and everyone have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.